Hello, Michael Kennedy. Hey, Dave Van Buskirk. Looks like we got wave one of men That's in the right. water right now. Starting a 750 meter swim to that's, lead this that's, triathlon. That's off. not what I would like to do at seven o'clock in the morning. It'd wake you up, <laughs> you know. I think, I think there's other things I'd like to do at seven in the morning. This is the proverbial cold shower <laughs> start right now. So this is hope you didn't go out the night before and stay up till two in the morning. You know, some of them did. Some of them are hardcore. They just stayed up till two, two thirty, and decided, well, I'm not going to bed now. That's I gotta, right. Got to be in the transition area in three hours. So. We have six waves here of uh, different groupings of people, and looks like I, I'm not sure what the, how they described wave one, but I know it's the men. The men we're so having the, the competitive, the professional, hardcore hardcore guys are out there starting first. And then we, uh, phase two, we have uh, the age group boys. The, the age group boys, and then this morning. Um, and we're starting off just to kind of brief you if you're just joining us in. Actually, you hear them doing a countdown now for wave two, getting ready to go out. Uh, these are the age group boys that are heading out, and um, we start off this morning, and we're there's the horn. Got a lot of Blue Dolphin boys in there. And uh, if, uh, if you're just joining us, we're going to start off the leg here. We're going to have our starting off with our swim, um, and then we transition from swimming over to biking. 20 kilometers. And then from biking, then we get off our bikes, and we start running. 2.8 mile run. There we go. These guys will feel real good about themselves in a couple hours and <laughs> probably get a big breakfast. I don't know what you might. Uh, my daughter was not that thrilled this morning as we were running around going, you know, <laughs> there's some other things I'd like to do yep. besides, besides starting off swimming this morning. And I well, you know, it's just... Which just tells me we need to sign them up for more triathlons. <laughs> you know, you can do that. Uh, you know, I've had a... We do have, coming up to the second buoy, our leader, which from the... From the recovery there, I'm guessing, is Eric Christensen? Yep. So we got Eric, Eric Christensen out in the lead, passing the second buoy. If we got, we got him, uh, got him. Coming, making, making his turn, well, he'll, be turning, he'll be turning straight to shore now in the lead. And it looks like he's probably, my guess is maybe about almost 100 meters, 70, 80 meter lead right now. What's he doing? It looks like he had, he had to find his bearings there. I think he, was, he wanted to make sure he headed in straight after the buoy. Actually, if they're going to be swimming. When they turn that buoy, they're going to be swimming now a little bit more to our left. So you'll probably see them adjusting their course. So he'll have a, he'll probably have a good couple minutes in the transition area by itself. So let me let me also tell you what you're going to see today. You're going to see we're going to bring it to you from different vantage points. We're going to try to get everybody launching off, uh, going out into the into the lake, and then from there we're going to transitioning to. You're going to be able to see both the the. Uh, the bike riding, the bikers. So we're going to bring both of those. They're doing a countdown now for wave three now. Yeah, I think we're going to see some duathlon runners come right through the middle of our course here. <laughs> Executive producer Bess Hour just jumped out of her shoes with that last <laughs> horn announcement, horn announcement for wave three to get in the water. So wave three is the 40 plus men, all all whether they're Clydesdales or Super Clydesdales are in the water now, with the uh, women in the pink That's caps right. coming in right behind hey, them. Bess. They're still going to be able to chat, for the right? Next wave. Okay. You know, there's something else we wanted to. Don't forget to remind our viewers. I know a lot of people tuning in to. Maybe this might be the first time you've tuned into Florida Swim Network. Is um, and he's he's really lengthened lengthened his lead out here now. He's probably got 120 meters or so below between him and the second uh, swimmer. Guys, I need you over here. I need you over there. That's where I need you right there. And there we go. Eric Christensen out of the water, running up the hill to the transition area. He also did the half Ironman a couple weeks ago with Swimmer Joe. Be able to tell it from the white caps into that until they almost get up to the water, to, right up to the beach. So we're not going to be able to see who our leader in the second wave is for some time. But uh, I can assume with all the strong swimmers that they're they're out there in the middle of the course. Yeah, now actually just looking over, we have one uh, swimmer in, in wave three that's a little bit off course. Oh, goodness, yeah. Way off. And it looks like, <laughs> looks like the whole bulk of them actually are having to make a right turn to get... And right as that horn starts, uh, we're going to have swimmer two, the second swimmer in the white, come out, slipping as he comes up the beach. And now the battle for second is going to be right now. I know Eric is already out, but, you know, they're probably... That is your second swimmer there. Yep. Just so, right there. so you look third and fourth. So they're all going to be close together. 
Yeah, the big key is going to be just to watch and see when we get our, our first silver cap from the second wave, see who our age group leader is. Whatever they had available. Gotcha. So Yeah, that does make sense. Uh, because they had some, uh, I know in the ladies' division, they had only a certain number of caps, and uh, they ended up now going over to white caps. And they, they, I did hear uh, Zeke make the uh, comment before we even started today. He's been in transition a couple minutes now, so we may see him going up Lakemont there on our left here in a moment. We've got uh, a couple more swimmers fighting the green weeds coming out of the uh, beautiful Lake Baldwin here. And there's our third swimmer coming out. And there's going to be a, a big congestion happening in our transition area here as... And, and that, that foghorn's in and, and I'm sure this is going to make Bess's day to know that's the last time you're going to hear the horn. So now we have our group taking off. These are going to be the relay uh, team. What's going to happen is one person is going to do the, the swim part of it. Eric finished his first lap. Okay, and we've just been told that Eric now has finished his first lap. On the bike. Yeah. On the bike. <laughs> So they're going to do three laps. Is it three laps around for the bike? Five, oh, five laps, laps on the bike. So there's a high possibility, if he's already finished the first one, that he can... But no, going back to our conversation that we were having, is they, they were really working on that transition uh, to bring up an exact point of, I need to be as fast as I possibly can to change, uh, not only to get everything off, I mean, the dirt and every grass and gravel and everything, because the swimmers aren't, you know, wearing any kind of shoes or any kind of, you know, anything to protect from getting dirt or anything, because that's what you're going to have for the rest of the time. Yeah, they'll have, they'll have, some of them will have a bottle of water over there just to squirt their feet off. Others have little buckets they step into yep. and then step onto a towel, throw on, some of them already have their shoes on their uh, bikes clipped on, and they'll pedal off barefoot and put, put their shoes on while they're pedaling. Now I'm starting to see some purple caps come in here, and that was wave two. Uh, no, no was wave that, three. That was wave three, yeah. I'm not sure. That was the 40-plus men is what that was, the purple. Yeah, wave two is the silver, which we've seen some. And I see some pink about. caps coming in. Okay, be interesting to see who the first pink cap is gets out of the water for us. Second biker just passed Okay. A second place bike just just rode past on Jake Street, which is right behind us. Wow. Here we'll be transitioning in a little bit over closer to that area to see as we get some more swimmers. And our executive producer, Bess, just told us it's about 60 seconds delay. I mean, 60 seconds between Eric and the second oh, wow. place. That's an important, important minute, minute for Eric. And there's there's two caps coming up together. Two pink caps coming up to the beach together. Be interesting to see who it is here that gets out of the water racing and with the ladies. See if you can see who it is, Swimmer Joe. Uh, let's see. Kelsey Hahn. Oh, good. And Kelsey Hahn. I can't, and maybe, can't tell who's with Kelsey. Uh, could be Bodiford. Savannah, wow. Savannah, maybe. They're fast. I think that's Savannah. Yeah, those are some fast girls. There's Shannon Kennedy and Ashley Bodiford next. Okay. Right behind them. A bunch of good girls. Should, it should be a good race. It's going to come down to the transition area, right? Oh, yeah. Transition. I, you can pick up 30 seconds. Well, I know somebody who picked up a minute in the transition area not long yeah, it's ago. It's definitely fun to watch the bike here, especially in the spectator area here on Jake Street where they do close down to one ro one lane as the, uh, the right side forces into transition. And you can get two or three wide with spectators on the other side on a cobblestone street. Gentlemen, I now see that we have... The duathlon folks are coming in. They're running down right in front of us. Yes, we have runners on the course right right in front of us that have uh, started the duathlon. They're just uh, avoiding the, the swim portion. Lucky those guys. I don't know. The swim's that good, uh, we talked about the good cold charger. We got a, a Jeff Bodiford here running right in front of us right now. Let's, let's go, Jeff. Jeff's out there. Jeff Bodiford, he's a swim parent. Actually, uh, we saw Ashley get out of the water. So. What about Ashley's mom? She's in the duathlon. I haven't seen Cheryl, so she's out there somewhere. I like to think she was ahead of Jeff, and maybe we missed her. You think she's ahead of Jeff? I don't know, I'm just, you know. <laughs> if I gotta pick sides, I'm going with the ladies. Keeps you out of trouble. If we were, if my wife and I were running, my wife would be ahead of me. I understand, okay. I understand. My wife loves uh, caps, And also and now we're purples, starting to yeah. see the, um, the, the uh, Wave 5 team now coming in. Now you're starting to see the relay 